New paddock on my wrist, white diamond shit hit pink. Got cold, had to go get a mink. Mm, new fingering scent, like a sink. You a bad bitch, damn glink. Hit the shower, you might stink. Bitch baggy on my grape. She said, look, who's so great? How you good with all that hate? Oh, oh, ain't good been like my drip. Happy birthday to that. Get a one to suck my dick. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, OGT Man. And today, we got how one fan page forced Lil Uzi to retire. Tell me why I seen this like a few days ago. And I was like, this shit can't be true. This can't be his last album, even though it's been a minute since I listened to Lil Uzi. Because back then, 2016, now shit he be posting on. I really don't know what to say about it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to the video. Here in 2024, it is extremely rare for a super... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Make sure to go subscribe to 1111. Make sure to go, you know... My bad, let's keep going. Rapper to interact with a fan page of theirs on Instagram. However, by no means is Lil Uzi Vert your typical rapper. From jumping in now infamous group chats with fans to then even letting one very controversial account actually change Pink Tape's cover art, only to diss him on the album a few hours later. Uzi Rare Updates. The Pink AB so called fan page, who despite claiming that he barely even listens to dude's music, is by far the most interacted account with Uzi, at one point talking on a daily basis. But then why did Uzi diss? him on x2 all love you're dissing me on your album how the f is that love with zero posts but yet over a hundred thousand followers due to his notorious reputation and shocking actions you'll never believe who actually runs the account in this video we'll not only dive into the intriguing dynamic between lil uzi vert and all of his fan pages hearing from a few directly but then also reveal their exact influence on uzi wanting to call it quits love is race 3 will be my last album <laughs> Y'all had the Uzi Rare Updates meal? The what? The Uzi Rare Updates meal. No. Alright. For someone who's not on social media much, the concept of a fan page is likely hard to grasp. How do people sit around all day and collect stuff on another man? Jokes Lil Uzi Vert in an Instagram chat with fans. Now, when you hear the word fan page, if you think of an Instagram account that posts typical behind-the-scenes content and general updates of their favorite artist's new music, basically the average fan page, then clearly you don't follow Uzi Rare Updates, aka Uru. And honestly, I don't blame you. Let me have complete control over the pink tape rollout. Uru demands to Uzi over DM. Hop off my d from his non-stop complaining over the tiniest things to then his 24-7 stalking of Uzi and his family in an effort to get any rare updates that he can, including literally tracking down Uzi's rehab center and almost getting an employee fired, it's understandable why Uzi would label him his biggest stop. However, what's not understandable though is why an artist as famous as Lil Uzi Vert would not only continue to chat with this fan page, arguably his biggest hater on social media, but then actually go on and listen to his criticism and advice. We'll sit there like he's got like a whole group chat dedicated to like finding out whatever uzi's doing at every moment so they can get the latest videos everything like they are so dedicated to that. for somebody who claims to be a fan page why why do that why do that to a quote-unquote idol i've seen it in the last why shit like that never made sense i wouldn't be on my idol's dick like that if anything i'll be supporting him and whoever be hating, I bring up facts. The fuck is you talking about? Like, what type of fan page did? Hmm. It's crazy with like Uru and shit like that. Like, I feel like he listens to them like hating way too much. No other rapper, let alone one as popular as Lil Uzi, interacts and seeks online feedback as much as he does. But to help us better understand this unique relationship between Uzi and his fan base, I spoke with another one of the biggest and most controversial fan pages, Samir World, who is also the creator of the infamous Uzi group chat that we'll get into more in a second. They do so much. Shit. That's why I don't try to partake in that shit. I like post the music I like. I'll let them handle that shit because that's too much and I would never want that shit done to me. Now I also reached out to hear from Uru himself, but unfortunately this was his response. I have the most based opinion in the Uzi community ever, says Uru in the group chat with Uzi. Cracker types Uzi's girlfriend JT to Uzi Rare updates. I've been letting your soft 
be delusional for a minute with all your made-up stories, but I bet this page will be gone soon. JT, you're too funny, Uhuru responds back. I'm about to get this one fan page deleted, change your name before I get out of rehearsal, and hide. But while it's true that Uru indeed has zero posts on his Instagram, which is strange for a so-called updates fan page, a simple look through his saved stories and you'll quickly get a great idea of what I mean when saying he's a very opinionated fan. Two of Uru's most common complaints against Uzi lie in first his recent increase in the use of A ad-libs, as well as second, the mixing of his new music, as you'll constantly see him complain about Uzi no longer working with his former engineer Kesha Lee. I just want to live in a world where Uzi goes back to this setup, which was before he switched to his new recording engineer Benjamin Thomas, who it's also important to know actually had all of his and his mother's personal information doxxed by Uru after he was mad about the way he mixed an old Uzi Grail space cadet. A world where there is zero mixing and mastering problems ever and Uru doesn't exist because there is nothing to complain about, aka 2015 to 2019. Stop saying A 80 times every song and overlapping it over vocals, it's ruining every release song. Reads one of Uru's countless rants trying to tell Uzi what to do. Same with the it's Lil Uzi Vert and all the other corny adlibs. And remember that this guy hates those specific adlibs, because as we're about to see, Uzi would make sure to remind him on X2. Stopping every song and rapping about the same stuff every other rapper does. Be more creative like your 2015 to 2018 music. Oh, so now we get... Oh, okay, now it makes sense why he's doing that. I get it. Cause you want a man to go back to what how he used to be, creative wise. You know more by end of more of you know from the rest. Like you know not like everybody else, which is valid. You know, but doing all that is, eh, I couldn't partake in it. Uh, that's just me. I couldn't. Do you want to bet Uzi and JT break up by 2023? With this immature and often out-of-pocket behavior, combined with telling Complex that his parents wouldn't let him fly out to New York to meet Uzi in person, this all but confirmed everyone's beliefs that Uru is just some annoying little kid. However, according to Saimir World though, who tells me he has a quote, love-hate relationship with Uru, he is allegedly quite the opposite. Really? No, he just says that, like, I know he's pushing at least, like, 35 or something right now, which is crazy to me, but, like, he's got, like, two kids right now. Learning that Uru is allegedly pushing 35 with two kids and still obsessing over every little thing Uzi does was definitely a surprise to hear. Although keep in mind that I did ask for some proof but was told that he had only talked once on an old live and that Uru keeps his personal life very private. So take that with a grain of salt. However, it's even more surprising why Lil Uzi Vert continues to chat with this account. Uzi's been showing love to fan pages for years, constantly liking posts and DMing some pages, explains Uru. After first becoming a fan from Uzi's early projects, it wasn't until 2019 when Uru was inspired to create his Instagram account. Slowly gaining a following posting eternal take updates during the rollout, two years later in 2022 would come his first interaction with Uzi. And from there, the messages were damn near daily. I'm too real to lie, I'm the biggest Uzi critic you'll ever meet. Clearly Uru has some very strong opinions, and he's obviously not afraid to share them with his favorite artist, but the truth is, Uzi seems to appreciate his blunt honesty. Today, you'll often hear a lot of Lil Uzi Vert fans say that they quote, miss the old Uzi and his past music. And while there's definitely some nostalgia factored in there, as an artist though, you can't help but hear what your fans are saying, which also appears to be a reason why Uzi seeks so much feedback. Nowadays, I don't know if he's like insecure about his shit or what, I know he sees like everybody talking about him like not being as good as he used to be, I think because like Uru is like one of those main people that's why like he comes to him because he gives him like the sh how it is it's just he's like a fucking hater about it you know <laughs> to prove exactly how much uzi values these opinions of his fans prior to pink tapes release last summer uzi and his team invited a select group of these fan page owners to fly out to jungle city studios in new york and listen to the album in person uzi basically told uru to come and to bring other pages one fan page who was in attendance uzi.chicago tells me over dm uzi had like 20 packs of menthol cigarettes but he took one rip of one and and said this is gross and didn't smoke anymore. Label guy comes in and they talk a little. Then the label guy and his girl leave and Uzi starts geeking about the label dude's girl. It was hilarious. But while many of the biggest fan pages such as Uzi Og were able to make the trip and meet Uzi as well as give feedback on Pink Tape, Uru would not attend since as he told Complex, they all wanted me to go but I couldn't fly out to New York because my parents wouldn't let me. And it's expensive AF. However, that definitely doesn't mean that Uru didn't still have a huge influence on Pink Tape's final product.
How you think it should look? Asked Uzi discussing the album's cover art with Uru. Give me more options like you did with EA. I feel like it's missing the pink diamond, but I mean it's up to you at the end of the day. That $24 million pink diamond is legendary, you gotta remember. One of a kind, types Uru. Should I put the pink diamond on my forehead? Yeah, that's hard. Do you like it? Yes, I do, honestly, responds Uzi. It's very timeless. But although Uru would help decide the final cover art and have a say in the track list, just a few hours later, though, when Pink Tape officially dropped on June 30th, Uzi Rare Updates was, quote, shocked to hear that one particular song made the final cut. Like my biggest up, Uzi Rare Updates. <laughs> How can I support an album where I'm getting dissed on it? Posts Uru after hearing the Ken Carson produced X2. All love, thanks for the support, responds Lil Uzi Ver How you gonna ask a motherfucker for help and then diss, and then diss them in the... You know what? You motherfucker. Uzi, you little bastard. The reason why I wipe my forehead is because I put too much grease on, on in my scalp. But yeah, what? Nah, that. What? What the? I, I don't know. Five laughing emojis. All love, you're dissing me on your album. How the F is that love? Man, shut up, responds Uzi. You a person in real life with a birth name. When you 40 one day, you will not be Uru, trust me. That doesn't matter, you're dissing a fan page on your album. You weren't supposed to actually drop the song, just like the Siamir World group chat song. I love you that much, jokes Uzi. Happy birthday, f LMAO, I can't believe I gotta live with this for the rest of my life. 50,000 people in the crowd saying, And in case there was any confusion, Uzi made sure to clarify the lyrics to Uru, stating that he did indeed say Avi in reference to Uru's pink profile picture. Uzi threw in those two. <laughs> Just to piss me off, laughs Uru on his story about the now self-dubbed Uru anthem. Dude is such an evil troll. To no surprise, Uzi Rare Updates saw a record-setting spike in profile and story views on the day Pink Tape dropped. But despite, of course, posting more hate about the album, once again never being satisfied, something that, as we'll see in a second, has definitely influenced Uzi's upcoming retirement. But according to Uru, though, it's always been just jokes. Uzi called I have an important project coming. That's crazy. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> Music won't never be the same, man. Tell you that now. Called me his twin and says he loves me, but called me his biggest op on X2 because of some of the stuff I be posting. He could have said some outrageous shit about me, but left me off easy. There's no doubt that Uru is an extremely controversial account in the Uzi community, and I feel like you either love him or you hate him. Some fans respect his honesty and ability to tell Uzi how he truly feels, while others point to his negativity and always posting what Uzi's doing wrong, and then acting as if his opinion is the law. I do want to give credit for him because he does say good info about Uzi, but obviously he's writing like essays. No one's going to take the time to read that. My biggest op, Uzi Rare Updates, tweets one of the hottest producers out, Benny X. However, whether or not he was trolling, the fact that Lil Uzi Vert name dropped one of his fan pages on his third studio album is crazy. No other artist makes dedicated songs about their fan pages or random fans in a group chat, says Uru. But I didn't know that he was actually going to drop it. I thought he just made it as a joke like he did with the Saimir World group chat song. Like my biggest op, Uzi Rare Updates, they were like, holy <laughs> Like, what the I was dying. I was like, I was like, wow. I'm like, you made it. <laughs> Although X2 was the first official fan page shout out on an Uzi album, the truth is though, it was not the first song where Uzi name dropped specific fans. Despite Lil Uzi Vert being very active in the Instagram group chat known as Uzi Chat, once again came more drama. Created by Saimir World and featuring over a hundred other Uzi fan pages and fans in general, including Uzi Rare Updates who was added in December of 2022, Saimir World was able to get Uzi's official account in this exclusive group chat with fans. He was like asking who made some like art or something it was like a fan art or something and then so like the dm was already there and then like we added him to the chat he randomly came in there like doing a money spread and all types of shit. and we was like what the f like <laughs> it was just so random with daily discussions ranging from everything including Uzi's new music saying he's making heat right now, to updating fans on the color of his dreads, to Uzi randomly stating that Dasani water tastes like Gatorade with no gator, and then to most notably previewing snippets and random freestyles for members of this group chat, once again seeking feedback from these internet strangers.
That was around a similar time that he was trying to like kind of go back around to his roots right after he dropped his final take. And I feel like because of that, he wanted to get like a lot of the fans' opinions and stuff. Choking that game, yeah, I put in the sleeper. I know this little bitch and she is a eater, but if you ask me, yeah, it's cheaper to keep it. Just different things, I, I assume, to just get our opinion and our feedback to see how his progress was going. Oh, yeah. Uzi sent the group chat an unheard snippet called Take the Molly, and I called it mid, so Uzi took it off the pink tape and replaced it with a better song. Recalls Uru. As you could guess though, as word began to spread about this exclusive chat offering the rare opportunity to talk with Uzi like he's your best friend, soon everybody was wanting to join. And as the owner of the chat, Saimir World claims that he would add random fans just because they wanted to talk with Uzi, but also admitted that he did indeed used to charge a fee to be added in the group as well. There was one kid who uh, paid a lot of money to get in, like, he was just, like, offering me money, and I was like, F it, bro, like, if you want to get in this bad, like, you can get in. Ranging anywhere from a few dollars to then some people paying as much as a thousand dollars to be added, combined with- Uh, I'm not that big. Yeah, uh, you can pay- Uh, fuck it. I didn't care that much. Uzi, back then, 2015, 2019, amazing artist. Now- I don't even listen to your shit that much. I really listen to your old stuff. But retiring because of something like this. <sighs> I don't know how to feel about it. I really I, I really was supposed to be reacting to this, but now it's just like Yeah. You can't really react to most most of the shit that you listening to. It's just like what the f I'm just at all. I'm just at all lost point because it's like force Uzi to retire because of stuff like this <sighs> excuse me it's really it's really hard to you know even sit here and it's being mad that this guy was essentially profiting off Uzi just being nice also came rumors that Saimir World was scamming those who wanted to join and would remove people shortly after they paid again although he's still one of the most hated Uzi fan pages at least on reddit I finally let Saimir World explain his side of the story it was bad, bro. They was, like, hating on me crazy back then. And honestly, like, a lot of it was deserved because I was being, like, a f***ing cornball at times. But really, like, they just, like, took that way out of proportion, to be honest. But I had to kick him. And then he went around telling everybody I scammed him because he was mad he got taken out after he was acting out of pocket. I never would ever go out of my way to do something like that, you know what I mean? According to Saimir World, if you weren't being weird in the chat and risked the chance of Uzi leaving, then he would never kick anybody who paid. To me, the group chat sounds like one of those things where if you were in it, you loved it, but if you weren't included, then it's easy to get jealous. Basically like if your best friends created a group chat without you. However, the hate and jealousy would only skyrocket the night when Uzi went on Instagram Live and previewed an entire song dedicated to this group chat. One night while in the studio and lurking in these messages with fans, Uzi decided to name drop members of the group all throughout the song he was recording. In the studio, he kept like sending like different snippets of the different names he was shouting out, like you know Adam and a few other people. It just like turned into like this crazy song, and right away like everybody else and like the community hated that because it wasn't them. In addition to giving shoutouts to eight members on the outro, there are also numerous bars referencing the group. I just talked to Jordan, yeah, he trying to ball this year. I just talked to Adam, he got girls in the pool. Shout out Perma, as well as even a bar name dropping Wesley, the owner of the Saimir World account. Wait, I run the world and my name is just Wesley. Get yeah, 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 yeah. Group chat a banger, thanks for the inspo, types Uzi in the chat. However, along with Wesley telling me that Uzi just made the song for fun and had no intention of ever releasing it, shortly after recording the track, the group chat fell apart. Combined with the claims that Saimir World was scamming, it was also revealed that one of the group members had been sending videos of himself to- now, nobody, including Uzi, knew this at the time, but this dude with all the allegations known as Pack Runner Seth was also the one featured in the intro of the group chat song, talking back and forth with Uzi. Pack Runner and Seth coming back, watching that DBZ, going super saying like I'm Goku, what you mean? Seth, what the f is you talking about? As Saimir World tells me, this news came out of nowhere and completely ruined a good time. But due to the negative reputation this group had formed, Uzi would then decide to step away and remove himself from the group. At the time, there was this kid that we had in there, and he was like, he's like a bit like slow, he's like special needs or something, right? And we had him in there, like, because like that was like his idol, and then we found out like he was doing a whole bunch of crazy sh and like we had to kick him out, and like Uzi gave him some advice. 
Uzi would later rejoin the group for a short time, as well as bounce around a few other fan-made Instagram chats, such as the Godly chat. However, as it stands today, not only is Lil Uzi Vert no longer active in any random group chats with strangers, but now he's also deleted his entire Instagram. As we wait for his next project, Love is Rage 3, which he announced last year, according to Uzi, though, this will be his final album. And the truth is, fans are in part to blame. I'm very stressed out and done with so many voices controlling my life, it's like I never live for me. Uzi posted prior to deleting his account, I would give up all the money and perks that come with this to live a perfectly normal life, I'm okay with it. Due to the constant complaining from fan pages and really just us fans in general, Uzi is tired of people relentlessly telling him what to do with his music and how he should live his life, not to mention the non-stop stalking of him and his family. Now at age 28 and already accomplished so much, Uzi honestly just seems over being famous, which all led to him saying this while on the recent Pink Tape tour. Love is Rage 3 will be my last album. No, it's o relax. It's okay. After that, I want to try to live a normal life. Once again stating that he just wants to live a normal life without all this pressure. Continuing on his story, why not stop now because business doesn't work like that. I have one more album to turn in, after that I finally can genuinely smile. I've been getting judged from day one, I never respond to negativity. I'm not as close to my family as I should be. My relationship isn't in the best shape, Uzi admits. I just wanna breathe. Uzi bro, you gotta chill, you know exactly what the fans want but you continue to do the opposite. LOL, Uzi responds. Love is very sweet. Is it really your last album? Yeah. Why is it your last album? I want to make music. I love making music, but I don't really want to make music like that no more. As we've seen before, though, Uzi also claimed that he was retiring back in 2019, which obviously turned out to be a lie. But his reasoning of simply wanting to wake up and live a normal life remained. Whether or not Lil Uzi will actually retire after Love is Rage 3 is still up in the air, just like the verdict on all these fan pages. However, regardless of if you hate them or support them in any capacity, there is no denying one thing. Lil Uzi Vert's relationship with his fan base is unlike any other artists in his- Unlike any other artist. You gotta give him credit for, you know, even going on there and showing love to certain fan pages and even being in a groups. But... And in terms of that, wanting to live a normal life, I can understand that. Because being famous is like, it looks stressful. That's why I'm not too mad at where I'm at right now. Because, like, people know me, but they don't really know me. Once I get up there, like, to where people will notice me in the street, but not do, you know, the most. I think I'll be, you know, a, a little happy, you know, if I'm able to spread God's word, you know get out there even more then i'll be definitely happy but yeah that's the end of the video let's go ahead and read these comments bro says he has to live with this for the rest of the life like his username isn't based off another man that is true i miss the old uzi but if he kept making this same shit all you hear is do something different like y'all weird is true true uzi rare updates had the opportunity to meet who was too scared, he a loser. I wanna say all that. The fact that if Uzi just did what he said, he wanted the album could have been completely different for the better or it's true. But anyways, yeah, I, I really couldn't say too much in this video because it's like, at the end of the day, you, you did what you did as an artist, you know, made it. millions, you know. When you start, you know, putting your fans' opinions, you was doing good at first, but then once, you know, you let it take over, you start to stress out, you know. I'm not mad at Uzi for, you know, none of the stuff you did. Because at the end of the day, it's his life. You can't you can't get mad at that. Nigga gonna do what he gonna do. But yeah. By that being said, it's your boy OGP Man signing out. Yeah.